One of the best shooters in the league, both from beyond the arc and the free throw line. Austin Johnson, little jump hook. And the senior has the first bucket of the game. He was bemoaning the fact that they played a lot of close games this year, just couldn't finish in the last five minutes. With some opportunities to pull off some big upsets. Wally Judge scores inside, and it's the big guys doing the damage so far for Rutgers. 46-42 over South Florida in overtime. A lot of fans here tonight. Good crowd for this doubleheader with the two New Jersey teams on the court. Miles Mack scores for Rutgers. Where did he pass to Crockett? And Mack makes a three. 45% for the year. That leads the Big East from beyond the arc. Paul's taken five threes already. They haven't hit any of them. Nice. Whew. How about that? Draw a few and then five. And Randall was open there. That is defender Melvin fronting him. Just throw it up to the rim. Another good look. Miller underneath. And the layup up and good for Kadeem Jack. And Mike said that to a lot of little. Both clubs, I think, will go zone. They both played that against one another. Look at this. Too much leak. Oh, yeah, another Damn. three that leads to a run out for Rutgers. Jamie Crockett, the miss. Miles Mack. He's been active on the offensive end, screening, ducking in. Jump hook. Judge goes to the left. Nicely done. In the second of the two first round games today, earlier tonight, Seton Hall rallied to beat South Florida in overtime, 46-42. Kadeem Jack. Seagears for three. Boy, that was the drive. Love his left hand. It's a nice little fade screen. That's too easy. And the big guys are full pick and pop. And they basically switched it. And DePaul took great advantage. You know, a little guy on the switch, he can just plumb bob and deliver as he did. Three seconds left in the half, and Miles Mack makes a three to send the Scarlet Knights into the locker room with the lead. Here's Mike Poole, Wally Judge. Miles Mack is the other. Second half starter for Rutgers. Johnson, Judge drops it in. And that was a nice play. They got a little flex screen. Man to man, one triangle with the other three. And a nice job getting it inside. Play three on three, a lot easier. Nice dive by Judge. He has been terrific. That is actually painted onto the floor. It is not a standing object. It just looks like it is on TV. He's not bumping into a sign. Should have ended with the Toronto Raptors. <laughs> as well. Mike Poole, a three. The junior from Rosedale, New York. 64% for Rutgers. And a lot of it's because they're getting to the basket time after time. Mr. Madison Square Garden, Mike Poole did it again. And the Scarlet Knights have their largest lead. Really need a, nice. really a good week. All right, just turn over that left shoulder. Just, he would have done it right away. Oh, Wally Judge is having a nice night. He'll have a chance for a three-point play. He could be a force, Jay, this kid. But a judge has to make a quicker decision. <laughs> a judge can't deliberate that long. Well, the jury is out on this particular vote. Mm. Jamie Crockett long with a three ball. Seagears the rebound. Ain't giving too many clean looks now. Jerome dribbled to the line and buried a three. Well, he never stepped up. Another timeout. He's the son of Winston Morgan. Played at Indiana in the mid 80s. Miles Mack from just inside the elbow. Seagears look away pass to Mack. Miller. Underneath the judge, who can't do anything wrong tonight. Uh, he deserves a few more puns the way he's playing. Oh. Mike Poole, 15 to shoot for Rutgers. A uh, nice little double. That was a nice sequence, Jay, wasn't it? It was, and it ends in a three for Miles Mack. Yep. To the show. Bracketology. Yep, you have another school to. Oh. Well, beautiful. <laughs> Tip in by Poole, pardon me for the interruption. Austin Johnson lobbed it up. He averages five and a half per game. Tough. Mack all the way to the bucket, missed with the left. Poole to follow, and he'll have a chance for a three-point play. Boy, they are really involved in this game, not giving up on plays. 
<sighs> Mack dumped it off to Judge. And his big night continues. Mm, nice deployment. Empty that backside, weak side help. That looked pretty good. Wouldn't you agree? Mm -hmm. Nice hands in the passing lane. Yeah, they've known all year they weren't coming to the Big East Championship. Miles Mack turns it into two more points for Rutgers. Boy, what a guy in terms of uh, hanging tough all throughout his pro career. And look at that push. Goodness. And no foul call. It goes in to Judge. Judge is now nine for nine from the floor, and that ties the Big East Championship record for most field goals made without a miss. Tough shot by Seagears, and that's a three. Boy, that is a tough backcourt to cover when they can make shots like that. Well, I guess my records are safe then, huh? <laughs> <they've disbanded. laughs> what, what records would those be? <laughs> Jerome Seagears the basket. Because if Judge plays like this, I wouldn't want to appear in front of him. And Garrett gets it to go, and they love that <laughs> on the Rutgers bench. A big smile, too. So the Scarlet Knights, who shoot 61% for the game, 54% from three, advance to take on Notre Dame.